Uh, I just got back from vacation to the Caribbean and it was lovely and I have these shells um, that I want to make nice and pretty and like display at home. I was going to be doing this project anyway, so I figured I'd do it on camera and, and see what happens because I've never actually done this before. So this is like half how to but like half complete science experiment with Brooke. So I found these three conch shells uh, when I was snorkeling in the Dominican Republic this past week. Insert picture here. And uh, just to clear one thing up uh, before I get started, because I don't know the ethics of taking this type of thing, I did ask our guide who was like from there, uh, every time I found one specifically, like if it was okay if I took it. And yeah, uh, he said yes, so I went with it. Um, and, and now I have them. Uh, yeah. I want to clean these up so that I can display them in my house. Uh, they've got kind of like some stuff all over them, but I think that that part's kind of pretty. So if I can't get all of that off, I'm okay with it. The bigger concern that I have right now, priority number one, is that they are so smelly. Like these things reek. So that needs to be taken care of. And I looked at a couple methods online for ways to um, clean out shells. Some of them said, like to use bleach and some of them said like not to use bleach I'm gonna use bleach because they smell so bad and I just don't believe that just soaking these in water is really gonna do the trick at all uh, so there there shall be bleach in this method and then I'm just gonna like wash them off after that so let's go let's do it Starting with the one that was the most broken of all of them because I figure if one gets messed up this is the one I'll be the least sad about. And it looks pretty good. So from here, there's a lot of different techniques as far as I could tell to finish polishing the shell off, all of which pretty much seem to involve some sort of abrasive going against the outer surface of the shell. So I found a bunch of things around the shop to give a try to see what would work best. And I also got toothpaste and toothbrushes, which to me seems like it's the most promising thing. Like it seems like that might work really well. We have so far after all that and it looks a lot better than it did and the smell is a lot better than it was it still smells a little bit maybe like the ocean but the more predominant smell I'd say is like bleach and toothpaste <laughs> which is better I'm gonna try one last thing on this which is to put it in the dishwasher because I have a dishwasher here at the workshop that we only use for like workshop tools and things like that not food so I'm curious what happens if I put this in there uh, for the sake of this video. I wouldn't really probably do this with my dishwasher at home though. realizing now that I probably should have taken like a before and after shot of the shells but for what it's worth they look really really good I'm happy with how clean they've gotten just from the bleach and uh, going to the dishwasher and then scrubbing I'm gonna continue to scrub these and then I'm gonna finish them off with a coat of mineral oil And 
and there they are. They're all done. I mineral oiled all three of them, and it starts out kind of glossy, but it hardens to a more natural looking finish, which I think is really nice because it doesn't look like this artificial, like high gloss thing on the edge of the shells. If you watch this video all the way to the end, thank you, and you might as well just subscribe. You made it this far because I'm going to be posting regularly different projects and uh, things that I make here in the makerspace, and I'd love to see you there.